Hello everyone, uh, we will be learning the concepts of big data with Hadoop and Spark. Before exactly talking about big data, let us have a quick definition of uh, data. Data is a collection of numbers, characters, uh, which we are trying to store in the system and later we submit it for processing. What exactly is big data? Big data is a huge collection of uh, voluminous data which is getting generated every minute, every day by various activities. And this big data because of its volume, because of its huge size, uh, this is being uh, not exactly be processed by the traditional database systems. Uh, in other words, we can say the traditional database systems are failing to uh, process this uh, huge amounts of data. We will see what the what are the exact problems uh, the traditional database systems are failing in order to work with the big data. Big data because of its uh, huge volume, high velocity, uh, though it is uh, very tough for uh, traditional systems to store and process, uh, still they are helping the organizations to gain some inferences and have some insights depending on their uh, day to day activities. How huge is the big data? Uh, as per uh, previous years or yester years statistics, each day we are producing approximately 2.5 quintillion bytes of data where 1 quintillion is 10 to the power of 18. So, we are trying to generate 2.5 quintillion bytes of data with various activities we are performing each day. Now, we will talk about what exactly is evolution of big data, from where this huge amounts of data is getting generated. I will show you some interesting statistics uh, wherein we all are contributing to the evolution or generation of big data. The first and foremost uh, uh, evolution of big data is happening via internet wherein uh, with our fingertips we are trying to generate huge amounts of data and uh, most of us are trying to work with uh, the search engines and the prominent search engine being the Google search engine. Uh, the Google search engine uh, approximately is processing nearly 40 to 50 thousand searches every second and Google is taking the monopoly of the market with approximately 77 percent of the searches. Other search engines are also helping the users who are trying to search for some data on the internet contributing to Worldwide, approximately there are 5 billion searches per day. So, all our search activity are contributing to evolution of big data. Let us see the other sources. Social media, we can definitely not think ourselves without being in social media. So, if we see the report given by Domo's data never sleeps. This is a 5.0 report. Other reports are also prevailing. Per every minute of the day, we are trying to generate this much amounts of data. To name some of them, Snapchat users are sharing approximately these many photos and more than 120 professionals are joining, link, joining LinkedIn. Whenever we are joining, we try to fill our data. That is how we are contributing to data, data generation. These many YouTube videos are being uploaded, tweets, Instagram. This is the activity approximately per a minute. Then coming to various possible communication media on internet, approximately 16 million text messages are being sent every minute. And on WhatsApp, we are sending 97 million messages per each minute. And similarly, how many emails, how many GIFs are being sent via Facebook, these are all various things. One more interesting thing is approximately 150 billion spam mails are being sent every minute. So, all these are contributing to evolution of huge amounts of data wherein the word big data is coined. 
to not to forget uh, because of pandemic we have observed online classes online activities work from home so many things which caused 3.3 trillion minute meetings on ex only zoom rest of the meeting online meeting sessions if you take online platforms if we take the number will be quite large so only on zoom platform platform the minute meetings are 3.3 trillion minute meetings coming to photo sharing this is also contributing or giving its share to big data evolution according to photo tutorial data 4.7 billion photos are taken every day worldwide and by 2030 we are going to approximately reach this number 382 billion images will be maintained on google servers via google photos and what are the services which are trying to contribute their share of data weather channels via forecast messages and upi transactions if you have seen this one this is by end of 2023 this much these many uh, upi transactions have been done to, uh, 1202 crore upi transactions contributing to 18 lakh crore amount and spotify per every day these many new tracks are being added and uber if i took if i have taken only one of the uh, transportation uh, platform uber is giving approximately 18.7 million trips per day so all these things if we try to name it uh, internet social media the communication platforms the search engines everything is contributing to huge amounts of data coming to iot via this iot also we are trying to generate huge amounts of data via voice searches image searches we are trying to contribute this much of data and via mobile voice search also we are contributing to the data with 1 billion voice searches which are occurring each month right so now if you observe all these numbers what are we trying to do here we are trying to contribute to huge amounts of data which the traditional systems are unable to store as well as process